Good morning, everyone. Can everyone hear me okay? All right. So if I make any mistakes this morning, I'm going to blame it on not having coffee. One of the hospitality students said, would you like some coffee now? I said, no, because that's my strategy. So just keep me some saved, and then afterwards, I'll get some. I'm just kidding. Um, so I have um, retired from the corporate world, and my background is in human resources. And um, in, in retirement, I decided to do what I'm passionate about, which is working with our, our young adults. And um, I tried to instill in them the things that I saw in the workplace. Um, I also worked for the University of West Georgia and ADP. Those are my, my companies that I come from. How many of you have ever heard of ADP before? Okay, you may have their logo on your paycheck. <laughs> um, so I worked 26 years with them and they are a human resources outsourcing company. So um, when the job came open for a professional skills instructor and coach at the 12 for Life facility, I jumped on it. Um, and I can say that I'm now doing what I felt like I should have done my entire life. Um, I love the fact that community has come together with school and business and partnered, and it is a true partnership. And just to see the results of that has been so rewarding. Um, and just to, to hear students' testimonies about, you know, where they are today and um, just the confidence that they exude when they show up at a networking fair and shake hands with someone, make that eye contact, and they are dressed up, and it's just, I just get giddy. How many of y'all adults out there feel the same way when you see that come to fruition? Okay, so 12 for Life is um, that name because the idea is if we can get students to make it through 12 years of school to reach their high school diploma, we will be changing their lives. And that is so true. Um, I tell students when I worked at the university that in order to work there, even if you were a custodian, you had to have a high school diploma. If you want to join the military, you have to have a high school diploma um, or equivalent. So getting to that really does change people's lives. And in our county, we had about a 60% graduation rate. And so Southwire, which is the leading manufacturer in wire and cable, um, they were having trouble hiring people because they didn't qualify for any of the jobs. And the more the technology and the machinery became a little more complex, they needed people with a high school diploma. So the CEO of Southwire had an idea that maybe we should tap into the school system and partner and create jobs and create opportunities for these high schoolers in order to have a pipeline coming in to Southwire. And, you know, let's work on getting them through school, but also providing jobs. Looking at the reason people were dropping out of school was, you know, family situations, economic situations. Um, there was also um, really the financial standpoint, didn't like school, didn't like sitting at school all day. I know my son's that way, you know, <laughs> and, um, you know, how can we overcome those obstacles? So that's kind of how it originated. And Southwire has a giving back program where they partner with the community in lots of different ways. It actually, I believe, started from Hurricane Katrina. And so this was a natural um, partnership at, in the building of the Giving Back program as well uh, for Southwire. So we now, um, they, they originally started with the five high schools in Carroll County. Now we have nine high schools in three counties. And the counselors within the school systems are the ones who bring the students to us. They ask them to apply to Southwire. They fill out the application. And then based on a rubric, there's priority. So if you um, are credit deficient, um, have financial need, um, there's some behavior issues, 
attendance issues, all of those things, then they're scored. And the higher the score, the higher the priority to get them in to our program. As a result of that, we've now graduated um, about 3,000 students. Our graduation rate in Carroll County is now 97%. So it has truly made a huge difference. <laughs> Um, also, as a result of that, we have an additional 12 for Life facility in Florence, Alabama. There is a Florence, Alabama. Um, and it is 12 for Life. It's part of Southwire. It's a smaller plant, but we do have that one. And we also have what they call daughter um, offspring from our program, and that is RPM, which you heard from yesterday in Augusta. And so it's, it's nice to see, and there's others, it's nice to see that others grab hold of that and are also really seeing some, some major results. So we feel like it's really extended, extended out, and we would love to see it extend to South Carolina as well. Um, you are welcome to come to our plant in Carrollton, Georgia at any time and tour. We would love to have you do that. We also have a blueprint of how to get it started in your community. We can just say, here you go, here's how you do it. Um, so we, we would love to help. It is a student-led plant, Southwire purchased a building, and we have uh, three shifts. The first shift works eight to 12, and then right after their shift, they attend a 30-minute rotation class. So each day they get either financial literacy, professional skills, or scientific and manufacturing research. Um, and with that, they also obtain a career pathway in manufacturing. So when they complete that and they pass the assessment, they are actually certified in manufacturing at the end of the career assessment pathway, which is two years. Um, in addition, we have something called Georgia Best, which I teach, and it is soft skills, professional skills. Um, they can achieve a certificate for that through the Georgia Department of Labor and Technical Schools. Um, and they get a seal on their diploma. They can put that on their resume. Um, they learned a lot about branding themselves. And what I mean by that, and this, I'll just play, play the game that I do with my students with you. When I say Nike, good or bad? If you think that's good, thumbs up. Bad, thumbs down. Okay, Under Armour, thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> Target, thumbs up, thumbs down. Walmart, thumbs up, thumbs down. Chick-fil-A, thumbs up, thumbs down. Taco Bell, thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, what you just did was you basically told us your um, experience with those companies, with those brands. Every single student in this room is building a brand. Every single person in this room is building a brand. Um, the first time you meet someone within 30 seconds, there's that experience with them. And so I try to instill in the students that every single day, your attitude, the smile on your face, um, everything that you do is building your brand. Are you gonna be a Chick-fil-A? I don't think I saw any down thumbs on that one. Um, or are you going to be the Taco Bell? So, <laughs> you know, which one are you going to be? Um, because you are going, you are building your brand and you want that experience with you to be one that is a thumbs up experience. And so that's, that's what we treat, what we teach and try to instill in the students. Um, and we tell them they're interviewing every single day and they are. Um, just to give you a little bit of information about what's new. Um, well, let me go back. So we have the first shift, then we have second shift that works 12.30 to five o'clock. And they have their rotation class at the beginning of their shift. Then we have a third shift that comes in at five. They do their rotation class for 30 minutes and then they work 5.30 to 9.30. They make $11 an hour. If they are there every day of the week for their four hour shift, that's 20 hours. They get a perfect attendance bonus of $20, which makes it $12 an hour. Um, that was increased 
a couple of years ago from $9 an hour due to being competitive, really, with Wendy's and everybody else that's hiring. But Wendy's doesn't bring them to work. We actually have school buses that will bring them to work from their home schools. Um, we have students that attend school there in the 12 for Life facility. We have about 30 students that attend school there. They still graduate from their home school, but they, we also have a 12 for Life graduation. Um, it's May 14th, anybody wants to come. <laughs> Uh, we have a signing day for those that are getting offers from Southwire to continue there in their employment. Um, we make a big deal out of it. They sign the offer letter and they get their picture made. Um, I would say that Southwire over the last couple of years has hired about 60% of our seniors into their various plants, really. Um, depending on what the student wants to do. Some of them work part-time and go to school and Southwire pays for their school. Some go into full-time work. We have really um, a whole bunch of different things going on. Just to give you some ideas of what, um, what's new since last year, in January of last year, we purchased an industrial maintenance lab. We need people that can work on those machines. It is a dire need in Southwire and in a lot of manufacturing plants. So we purchased a system called Amatrol and the school system purchased it and Southwire purchased a component of it to, to allow us to extend what we teach in that. But it's mainly electrical and anything that you are working on mechanics wise you got to know the electrical components and our automotive teacher that's here probably can attest to that. You learn a lot about the electrical system. So the industrial maintenance lab started. We had uh, 15 students go through it. They were selected based on, I call them high pose, high potential, <laughs> high performing students. And we put them through the program. They learned, they learned robotics, mechatronics, all of these things. Um, we had them take a test afterwards. We had two students score really high. We encouraged them to apply for an apprenticeship program with Southwire. They were in a pool of about 100 people that applied for that program, including some Southwire adult full-time employees. Our two students were the two that got hired. They are now working for Southwire, making about $22 an hour in their apprenticeship uh, industrial maintenance program and Southwire's paying for them to go to the technical school to get their certification in that. So um, it's just amazing to see just within that year, really it was six months because they graduated in May, to see them catapult into, the, into that and even compete with people that were already working at Southwire. We also have an electrical um, class that we offer after hours and if the students work their shift Southwire will pay their their guaranteed four-hour work shift while they're attending the two-hour class once a week it's a 12-week program it's with the independent electrical contractors it's a partnership with them um, they are basically learning the basic electrical installers certification it's a part of the apprenticeship program with the independent electrical contractors. A member of the independent electrical contractors uh, supplied the money for an instructor to come in and get us started. Um, my husband and I were building <laughs> electronic components for the students. We, we do whatever it takes. That's our, that's our motto this year at Carroll County Schools, whatever it takes to give the students the tools they need to learn. Um, but it's a, it's a hands-on lab. It's some classroom time. When they finish it, they have their end of, they have their basic installers certification, they have their OSHA 10 certification, and they have their first aid certification. And so those are great things to have on a resume when you're coming out of high school to compete in those jobs. We have had two students continue in the electrical um, career path after high school. They were picked up by contractors who Southwire contract to do their electrical work called Conway Electric, and um, they're in the IEC apprenticeship program. So they are learning and earning, and they will become electricians. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, now Conway Electric agreed to 
donate their time and we have an electrical engineer teaching that class. And so it is sustainable with all those partnerships and the students are continuing to take that, to get offered that class every semester. So um, that is another win. Just to tell you about our 12 for Life students and their success, we have had some, we just kind of went back and said, okay, what are our graduates doing now? Just since I've been there, which is five years now, we have had some that are employed with Southwire in their cyber, cyber security IT uh, department. We've had one that has gone on to college to make, major in physical physics and chemical engineering. We have one that's uh, in her last semester of becoming an RN. We have one that was, I think, in the graduating class of 2009, and she is now the plant manager. She was a single mom, a teen mom, wasn't sure where she was going. Um, she went through the 12 for Life program, and now she is the plant manager over our MC Cable plant, which is one of our biggest plants in Southwire, and she was a 12 for Life student. So um, success story after success story after success story. Um, so amazing results, the graduation rates, the career path, the um, certifications they come along with. Um, we also have an online tooling new adult learning program that all the students go through, which has helped us get their pass rate for the end of pathway assessment and manufacturing from what was about 14% to now 60%. So we're continuing to develop and, and grow and do more with our students and give them more opportunities. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be hanging around. If you want to come to Carrollton, Georgia and tour the plant, let me know. We would love to have you um, come and see what our students do. But thank you very much for your time.